We're at the Site C Summit in Victoria, British Columbia. It's September 27th, 2018. Uh, I'm talking to Rick Habgood. Rick is involved with the process of bringing uh, a proportional voting system uh, to British Columbia, which we hope is going to happen in the very near future. And Rick, can you tell us a little bit about either proportional voting or Site C and how they may interact with each other. Well, uh, with the if you want to, let's. This is a uh, the summit, the Site C summit. So let's talk about the uh, Site C. Uh, what would happen under a proportional voting system with Site C? Well, number one, it's a totally and completely different system from first past the post. First past the post basically is a majoritarian system where. One party basically gets a false majority, which means that one person, one party has power over everything. And there's really nothing you can do about it legally, it's just the way it is, and they have the power. The only, um, the only, the only out that you might have is protest and rallies and court cases and all the rest of it, but, what, but in the end, the party in power has power over everything. What we want to do with proportional representation is take that power away. We don't, we don't believe that any one person like Justin Trudeau or Christy Clark or anyone, even Andrew Weaver, no one should have the power to do everything and have power over everything. It just should never happen. That's a dictatorship. And not only that, this is not even a majority of the people giving the power to that person. This is a minority. So in actuality, what you can really say is that a minority of the population is controlling the majority of the population. That's not democratic. Sorry, folks. That's not what democracy is all about. So as I see, what you're seeing in the beginning, you've got a party who started it, which was the Liberals uh, under Gordon Campbell, and then continued with Christy Clark. There was nothing you could do. Uh, John Horgan uh, uh, talked to me about this, and he said that he sat in the legislature, and there was literally nothing that he could do. He had zero power, even though 30 to 40 percent of the population of BC was represented in that guy, in that one man, or in that one party. So that has to change. Now if it did change, and let's just say we had a proportional system in place, would that stop Site C? Don't know. If it was a proper, if we could project maybe 20, 30 years down the road, we got PR, and if it was a proper PR system, then each individual MLA would have to go to their constituents, there would have to be town halls because Site C is a province-wide issue. It's not just uh, uh, an issue that is just um, uh, local. local this is area. something that affects the entire province. So therefore, every single MLA would have to go to their riding. They would have to conduct town halls. There would have to be polls taken. They would have the, the citizens would have to have the information pro and con. And then in the end, those citizens would be polled and if, for example, in, the, in your writing, the citizens came up with 60% yes, and you didn't like it, but the citizens said yes, guess what? Your vote doesn't count. You have to represent the people in your writing, so you go to legislature, and if you vote for Site C, because that's what your citizens want, that's just the way it is. And so it, it's not a given that Site C would be defeated in a proportional system. Plus, you got another issue, is in the riding, there might be a lot of union people whose jobs might depend on building Site C. So that is going to be, that's, you got to factor that in also. So there is, it, it can get very complicated. But basically speaking, in the legislature, if there was a vote in the legislature, number one, it would be a free vote. There would be no party whipping. There's no such thing as a party whip within a PR system. Not supposed to be. And, but... So it would be a free vote, and if you voted for the wishes of your constituencies, then that would be your vote, and that's it. Now, so, I think what you're talking about is, you've been to Germany a few am times. I, am I making sense here? I hope so. You've been to Germany a few times. I have. And I think what you're talking about is 
the way the system actually works in Germany. Yes. And from what you've told me, it is a remarkably more democratic system yes. than what we have here in not only British Columbia but in Canada. Absolutely. And one of the foundation stones of that system of more democracy is proportional representation. It's the, it, it's the basis that creates the democracies, the basis that creates their society. And um, a political scientist, German political scientist once told me that uh, their voting system, he says it sounds very simple, but their voting simple system actually is what produces what Germany is. It produces the society. And it's hard to, it was hard to sort of get my brain wrapped around that, but once he explained it to me in detail, I started realizing, and I, I believe we met right after I got back from Germany, and, and you and I had a discussion about it, and it's very true, the voting system is the very basis of democracy. So if your voting system creates short-term dictatorships, that's what you got. And you know what? In a dictatorship is a dictatorship. If Christy Clark says this is the way it's going to be, guess what, folks? There's nothing you can do about it. Outside of going to court, rallying, screaming and yelling, whatever you want to do. But, you know, if she doesn't want to give in and she turns her back on you, that's course, just the way it is. Of course, the other thing you can do is vote NDP because they're going to stop it. Ho, ho, ho. Well, you know <laughs> what? We, we, we move forward and... Um, uh, we might, you're, you're absolutely correct, you know, it, it, this whole thing might collapse in and of itself, you know. And if, and if that happens, Jack, that's what happens, you know, there's nothing, there's really nothing that I can do about it. But one thing I will say, though, is that um, in this whole process, I've been at this for 10 years, and in this whole process, I look back when I was in uh, university, was a young man, very young man, Nobody even talked about voting systems. Nobody even thought about it. They're thinking about it now. And you know, the youth are thinking about it. And this is where I direct my energies, is youth. Even if, if this show happens on Shaw, my energy is directed at youth because that's our future. And you know, that's what's going to put it through. My generation will we be able to be lucky enough? To, will will I go to my grave uh, and 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 their province have PR? I don't know, but I do know that what I'm doing is passing on to 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 the younger generation, and that's where that that's what salvation for me. <laughs> so you're right; we might not get it, and the cards are 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 collapsing inward. That's just the way it is, folks. That's you know you got to deal you got to deal with what you got. But I see it at the tables of Fair Vote Canada. When I'm at the tables, I see it within our group, our volunteers with Fair Vote here in Victoria. It, there, there's a lot of youthful people. You know, it's not all gray hairs, and you know, that's what gives me hope. It's going to happen, yes. guaranteed. It's going to happen. You know, people are are on to it now. The, the young people are on to it, the 20-something, 30-something, 40-somethings. They're on to it. They know they're sick and tired of having dictatorships and they want more democracy. And you've been at it for, I don't know Almost how long. as long as you. As long as me, longer than me. You, you, uh, I think you had a society when I was still talking about climate change. But, um, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's going to happen, Jack. One of the most important issues in Canada today is moving to a proportional representation That's right. voting system. So let's well, without hope it, we can do it. We still got, we have Trudeau, and you know, BC is just very fortunate in that the Green Party holds the the balance. We're just we we're, if if that hadn't happened, who knows? Who knows? Thank you, Rick.